Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video. Today we are looking at our cargo ship once again. Uh, all I want to do today is I want to see if it can do an actual mission. Now, the mission that I kind of want to try is the, the, the big thing that we need to transport, if that makes any sense. Uh, it starts off on the back of a lorry, if that, if that helps anybody. It's like a 20 foot container thing. Uh, it's a mud pump for the oil company. Um, and I believe it would fit inside one of these cargo holds, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, so that's kind of what I want to do, but uh, on the other hand, what we could do instead is we could rescue a fisher person and also try and pick up their boat and put it on our boat, because that seems fun. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what mission this thing would be used for exactly, because there's not really that many cargo missions as such. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get on with it and we'll see what we can get to do. Alright, so first things first, I have changed one thing, and that is I've added some windows up there because I feel like having to be able to look out there is uh, kind of cool. You know, you can sort of sit down in one of these seats and you can look out the front windows, uh, which is, is kind of cool. I like that. I do like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and close this door, turn the lights on, and go upstairs. Let's go ahead and turn on this engine. Go ahead and put in the throttle, do the clutch. Go ahead and turn off this thing in my bobby. And off we go. We're moving. Moving at the speed of light, I'm gonna make a supersonic man out of you. Okay, we got ourselves a downed helicopter with a rig worker on it, so we're gonna sail ourselves all the way out there. We're gonna be a rescue ship as well as a, uh, you know, a nice ship that's coming over to pick up the helicopter from the water. Uh, because that's technically what we're doing. We're gonna save the dudes out of the water, so, um... Yeah, um, so far, so good. Everything's working fine. I just wish that I was a little bit better at interior design because then I would know what to put down here. It's just I have no idea at the minute. If we go downstairs as well, uh, I really don't know what to put inside here. We've obviously got the active clothing, we've got firefighting equipment, we've got diving equipment. If we go through here, we got ourselves a medical room, as you guys can see. If we go out here, we got ourselves a, um, like a captain's quarters kind of area. I don't like this room very much, so I'm not going to go in there. If we go down here, oh wait, let's turn on the lights first. Let's turn on the lights uh, with this button. There we go. That turns on the lights for the hole downstairs. Um, inside the cargo bay, there is water because it's not sealed, as you guys can see. Um, yeah, all right, cool. Over here, we got little portholes on the side. We can see we're above water level, which is great. In here, we got the dining room. Uh, so we eat on this table. We cook right here. We got a sink. We got a cooker. And back here, we got all of the beds. Um, so we got, what, eight beds? Eight beds. We got six thingies, and uh, we got two cargo holds. So, I mean, the ship does work, and it would work for doing quite a few missions. It's just there's not that many missions that it's specifically for, if that makes any sense. Uh, if we look up here, can we see the battery level? Yeah, I don't know whether that's charging or not either. So that might also be a little bit of an issue. Okay, you know what? I've just realized I haven't actually plumbed in these ones. I don't know how much fuel we've got. I know how fast we're going, but yeah, I, I don't know how much fuel we've got, which is actually a big issue because we might run out of fuel at some point. I don't even know where the fuel tank is on this thing. I really can't remember. Um, oh, there's our fuel tank. Okay, yeah, we've, we've got a lot of fuel. I don't think we have to worry about that at all. Uh, so we've got 6.4 kilometers to go. This ship is very slow, but it was supposed to be... It was supposed to be like a little riverboat, but um, it turns out that it's a little bit bigger than that, so... Uh, yeah, oh, I suppose this still would fit down like, I don't know, a big river, I should say. Um, but yeah, I like the way this thing looks. It's just, it's got a few problems. I believe, oh, I've changed these as well. I've put some weights on the top so that they do fall down, I believe. Uh, if we go boom down. Okay, we are going forwards, so it's not actually going to fall forwards. Uh, unless I push it, I guess. Am I pushing it? Is it working? No. Okay, yeah, alright. Okay, maybe I'm wrong then. Maybe I'm wrong. Alright, boom back up on that one. Boom down on this one. That's not the boom. Boom down. There we go. Yeah, so now it works, you see? That's cool. That is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. It stops it from wiggling around so much when we've got a bunch of weight at the top. Uh, so that's nice. That's really nice. Let's go to the back and turn on our spotlights real quick. But we do have to check our battery first. Otherwise, we might have a little bit of an issue there. Yeah, our battery's going down. Our battery is going down, but spotlights need to be on anyway. Uh, so there we go. Beautiful. She's looking good. Uh, we've only got 5.8 kilometers to go, so we'll wait until we get there. We'll try and pick up all the dudes, 
and um, we'll see how our ship does. Okay, so as you guys saw there, I thought I'd test this thing out against some waves, and as you guys can see, it sort of deals with waves actually pretty well. Uh, considering it's it's actually riding quite high in the water, technically. Um, I've tried to weigh it down quite a bit, so um, the fact that we are actually going through this is actually pretty nice, to be totally honest with you. This is 100% waves. I can't see the bottom of the ocean. So, uh, yeah, I think it's doing actually pretty good. It's doing pretty good indeed. I'm not going to put it against a tsunami, although I do think it would survive a tsunami. Um, but I haven't tested it against a tsunami um, while having this thing on, uh, the lifeboat. So, um, yeah, it's interesting. It's very interesting. All right, boys, we got a bit of an issue, and that is why you test your vehicles. So, uh, yeah, our battery's going down quite a bit. I'm not even entirely sure we've got any generate. We do. We got generators. Are all of these things working? All right, engine RPS in, in that one is not. Hold on, let's do this. I'm gonna give it a go, hold on. Everybody's spinning. Okay. It just dies. That one that one just dies. It can't be powered. Alright, okay, that makes sense. Alright, okay. Well we need to fix that bit. We need to fix that bit. I'm sure I did that before, but um yeah, it must have reverted uh, a different save. Or maybe I didn't save it once I'd fixed it. Anyway, um yeah, we are on our way. We are almost there. You guys can probably see the helicopter's tail right now. Um, we're gonna attempt to lift the helicopter onto our deck. Um, I I don't know how well this is gonna go. I'm I'm gonna assume that it's not gonna go very well. Uh, it's not wavy over here at all, so uh, we're okay with that. Um, I should really turn on the spotlights, but we can see just fine, so we'll leave them off because of our battery problems that we've got right there. And in fact, actually, we should turn off all the rest of the lights as well, um, so that we're not drawing too much power, and we might be able to actually charge it if we stay still. In fact, that is a good idea. That is not a bad idea at all. How long do we have to complete this mission? 12 minutes. We're, we're not getting there. We're, we're, we're not. This thing is too slow for that. Uh, right, okay, we'll do it on the right side. We'll go ahead and park next to it. And we'll try... We'll try and connect to it. Uh, it's going to be difficult. It's going to be very, 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 very difficult. Um, but whatever. That's fine. It's supposed to be. Here we go. Lift up the clutch. Lift up the clutch. Go ahead and turn that on. Can we put the clutch in slightly? Because that might charge it. That might charge it. Is it going to? Because the RPS is still up, so we are still doing something. Oh, we're going to run over all the dudes. Sorry, dudes. Sorry. All right, is it charging the battery? No, I don't think it is. All right. Lift up the clutch. Lift up the clutch. Turn the throttle off. That's good. All right, cool. We are just sailing past, which is a little bit annoying. Um, How do I stop this? How do I stop us from sailing past? We do have anchors, but that's not going to work. I don't think. I don't think that's going to work. I don't even know if this thing has a reverse. That's a good point, actually. This boat doesn't even have a reverse. Oh, I'm so stupid. All right, whatever. Anyway, uh, we're going to attempt this anyway. So, boom down, boom down, boom down. There we go. Boom down. Boom left. The other way. The other left. There we go. Beautiful. We're going to chuck it over the side. If we possibly can, that would be great. Boom, still coming down. Beautiful. We're going to then drag that all the way backwards as well. So we'll press down on that one. And we need the magnet to be on. All right. Awesome. Yes. All right. I don't think this is going to be able to lift the, the helicopter up. But I, I want to give it a go. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. All right. Let's, let's make it go that way a little bit. Okay. That is wiggling a lot. That is wiggling a hell of a lot. But that should be fine. All right. Cool. And uh, I kind of want the winches to be a little bit faster, especially, especially this one. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to try and attach it to it. Drag the helicopter this way, and then we're going to release this. Attach it back to the helicopter, lift the helicopter back up, and try and put it down. Okay, what is happening here? Oh, it's landed on this. I see, so we can't even boom down anymore. That's fair, though. That's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and tighten that back up, because it seems like a good idea. Here we go. Three, two, one... We're gonna we're gonna stop this from going up very soon. Don't worry. Here we go. Three, two. It's quite tight now. All right, cool. Do that. That one is still lowering. That's okay. That's good. Um. All right. Grab you. And bring you back. 
Ah! It, it, it disconnected me. It disconnected me. All right, come on. I can hold you. Come this way. No! Why is it, why is it glitching out like this? It's so strange. All right, get up to the surface. All right, don't glitch out. Don't glitch out on me, please. Please don't glitch out. Come on. Yeah, we're so close now. We're so close to the heliflopter. And... Touch, touch it. Touch it! Attach! There we go, it's, it's attached, it's attached. All right, awesome. Uh, do I have ladders? I do, I've got ladders. All right, everybody come with me. Come on, one, two, three, and four. All right, are you all following? All right, you are all following now. Everybody get on my boat, let's go. Come on, up on the boat. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, down, Mag, no! Ah! <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it, up. All right, everybody on board. You stay there, oh, whatever. I don't care about you guys. I'm going back under, grabbing the magnet. We're gonna reattach it, okay. Did it just flip out again? It did! Come on! Okay, grab the magnet. Grab it. Gra gra grab it. Grab the magnet. There we go. Why is it doing this? I'm gonna drown! I'm gonna drown, dude! No! Alright, grab the magnet. Come on. Go slowly up to the surface. Very slowly. Alright, good. Bring it over. I can't. I can't do it. It's like glitching out. What if I can push this this way? That might work. If I can push the helicopter that way, it might work. Is that going to do anything? I don't think that's going to do anything. Okay, grab it quick. Grab it and put it on. Yes! Yes, we totally did it! All right, and it's dragging it this way as well. All right, you. All right, follow me. Follow me. Let's go. Everybody up. Everybody on the deck. Good. You're on the deck. Beautiful. You're on the deck. Beautiful. And you're on the deck. Good. All right. Everybody's happy now. Oh, yes. We're dragging the helicopter this way. My computer just froze for a second. Not entirely sure why that happened, but that's okay. Boom. Up. Okie dokie. Yes. Alright, stop there. Right, okay. We need to attach basically onto the middle of the rotor, because I feel like that's where the center center of uh, mass is. So, um, doing that should help us out quite a bit, to be totally honest with you. Just wish there was two of me doing this. Anyway, yeah, we, we're probably going to run out of battery by the time we do this, so everybody here, um, you're not going to get to the hospital in time, and all of you are going to die, unfortunately. I mean, it is unfortunate, but it, it's just something that's got to happen. All right, okay, magnet on. Oh, it's just attached to the same place. All right, maybe we can drag it on. I don't know, we'll see. All right, up and up. Let's just see what happens. Seems like a good idea. Um, but I don't think we're going to be able to lift it up high enough because it's such a big box. Or such a big helicopter, I should say. Um... The other thing that I could do is I could boom down, or I could down on this one. Is that actually doing anything? Yeah, it's so slow though. Oh, this doesn't do anything. Why doesn't it do anything? Are these ones not attached? They totally are. Okay, I'm confused. I don't know what's going on. Um, right, okay. We're trying to drag a helicopter onto the deck. Uh, it's not going too well. Uh... Okay, twist it. Uh. Okay. Uh. We're pulling. I mean, it's still it, it's still pulling it on. All right, I've got an idea. The other thing that we could do is we could grab one of these, probably the furthest away one. Down. There we go. We could grab this. We can put it in the helicopter or on the helicopter and we can try to drag it onto the front of the boat. That totally seems like a really bad plan, but we'll try it anyway. Uh, right, okay. Let's jump overboard. <gasps> oh! 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 Alright, that's not good. It disconnected itself. Uh. Oh! Is that because the... Have we, have we run out of electricity? We might have run out of electricity to do this. Yeah, I think we have. Uh, Ripperoni and pepperoni then, I guess. Alright, but it's always good to test your creations in case of stuff like that. Um, it also probably means that this thing won't work, I would assume. Let's go inside here and turn this on. 
and we'll see if it works. All right, let's get in the seat. There we go, lift her up. There we go, beautiful. And release. And lights. No, it still totally works. Uh, weird? Very strange, I guess? That is really weird. Really, really weird. Okay, but it doesn't drive anywhere near as good as it used to. All right, whatever. Well, I guess this was just a test for my cargo ship. Uh, my cargo ship has technically failed because it doesn't get enough electricity. So uh, that sucks quite a little bit. But um, we'll go ahead and fix that. And we'll upload it onto the workshop. And hopefully you guys, if you want to, you can do the interior or whatever you want to do to the ship. I don't mind. I don't mind. I do like the fact that we've got something that looks all right, though. And uh, it works for the most part. So that's cool. Anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.